Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Springtime! Wow! Look at all the lovely tulips. Yes, Holly. It's the first day of spring. Wow! There's a flower right outside our window. All the daffodils have come up. I love springtime. Ben! Ben! Are you coming out to play? I'll be right down. Have you seen all the flowers? Yes, and oh, those leaves are moving. There's something in there. It's coming out. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, a little hedgehog. <laughs> Gaston's frightened him. He's rolled up into a ball. Sorry, Mr. Hedgehog. Ah, a hedgehog. <laughs> He's woken up for the spring. Woken up? Yes. Some creatures sleep all through the winter. Don't they get very hungry? They make sure they have a big meal before going to sleep. Oh, there's something else waking up. And it's big. It could be a bear. It could be a... Hello there. Ah! The gnome! gnome! Do gnomes sleep through the winter too? Yes, and when they wake up, they're very hungry. Ah, what's for breakfast? Uh, Mr Gnome, wouldn't you like to sleep a bit more? Eh? What do you mean? Uh, maybe it's not springtime yet. We could still get some snow. Eh, Nanny Plum? Ow! Stop it! It could snow at any moment, couldn't it? Ow! I don't think so. It could snow if magic was used. Oh! You want me to magic some snow so he'll think it's still winter. Shh! Why didn't you say so? Oh, dear me, it's snowing. I'd better go back to sleep. Hang on. Over here, it's sunny and there's flowers. You try to trick me. <laughs> I like a good joke. Shame I don't know any. I've had some funny dreams, though. Would you like to hear them? Uh, no, thank you. Yes, there's nothing so boring as other people's dreams. Anyway, I dreamt I was in this rowboat and the oars were made of cheese. Then a lot of pigeons wearing pyjamas started chasing me. How interesting. <gasps> There's lots more to tell. But first, I need food. Hello there. Ah! I mean, hello, Mr Gnome. This looks like a nice comfy house. I wouldn't mind living here. Uh, you can't live here. I like a man who speaks his mind. We'll have some good chats while I'm living here. Mr Gnome, we'd really love to have you stay, but the front door is too small for you. Well, if you really want me to stay, I'll try my best. <laughs> Nearly there. Just my bottom to go. Hello, everyone. It's a bit of a squeeze in here. I'll just move this little staircase. He's eating everything! <clears throat> What's for dessert? Save your food! Mr Gnome, wouldn't you rather live somewhere with other gnomes? Oh, no. Gnomes don't like other gnomes. Gnomes tell very boring stories. You never get two gnomes living within a hundred miles of each other. Hello? Nanny Plum, you must come back to the little castle at once. Sorry, King Thistle, but we're having a problem with a gnome. What? But I've got a gnome at the castle. Is there any more toast? There must be two gnomes. <laughs> no need to panic. What do you mean? You heard what the gnomes said. Gnomes don't like other gnomes. We just have to get them together. When they see each other, they'll run a mile. Problem solved. Yay! We'll arrange for both gnomes to meet each other at Big Hill. You seem to be out of food. Have you tried the breakfast tree on Big Hill? Breakfast tree? Never heard of it. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it, Nanny Plum? Ow! What did you nudge me for? Yes, over on Big Hill, there's a tree that grows sausages, 
and eggs and bacon. Is there? I've never seen it. Ow! You don't even know you're doing it. Nanny, he wants you to magic one. Oh, I see. You want me to magic up a breakfast tree? Shush. OK, then. Hmm. I can smell breakfast from here. Hello. Quick, Your Majesty. Tell your gnome that there's a breakfast tree on Big Hill. Ooh! They say that breakfast don't grow on trees, but my, my! A tree with eggs, bacon, sausages and toast. The most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Look! They're about to meet and run a hundred miles from each other. Uh, a gnome! What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Go on, then. What are you doing here? I like breakfast. Would you like to know why? No. I'll take that as a yes. It's because I like fried eggs and sausages and bacon and pancakes and... <coughs> You've eaten it all! Well, if you didn't talk so much, you could do some eating. Right! I'm going a hundred miles away from you. I'm going a thousand miles away from you. It worked. They've both left the little kingdom. What a brilliant plan. Well done, Nanny Plum. Thank you, King Thistle. <clears throat> it was my idea, Your Majesty. No, it wasn't. I thought of getting them together. I magicked up the breakfast tray. Let's just say elf cleverness and fairy magic has saved the day. Yay! She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. Still here! We thought you'd uh, gone far away. I tried, but I just can't get her out of my head. That lady gnome's beautiful, isn't she? Do you like the way her eyes sort of sparkle? For pity's sake, can't we talk about something else? OK, then. Don't you think she has pretty ears? Oh, this is terrible. He's in love with her. That's springtime for you. He's a fine figure of a gnome, isn't he? Oh, yes. And hasn't he got a nice big tummy? If you say so. I've made up a song about him. Would you like to hear it? No. no. I'll take that as a yes. Oh, look, I think he's coming. <gasps> Is he? How do I look? Is my hat on straight? Oh, it's you. I thought you'd gone. Yes, well, I, I just... That is to say, I, er... Uh, that's the first time I've seen a gnome lost for words. Would you like to hear a song I've written? <laughs> yes. I'll take that as a yes. Oh, my lady gnome has lots of lovely hair and lots of pretty eyes and ears so fair. <laughs> I like it. I'm Gloria. They're friends now. Gloria, will you be my own lady gnome and live with me forever in the little kingdom? Yes, I will. Come, my dear. I'll show you your new house. Here we are. This is where we'll be living. Ooh! Whose idea was it to get them together? Nanny Plum, Your Majesty. No, it wasn't. It was your idea. Well, you made the breakfast tree. You told me to. Stop! Stop! What are we going to do about it? We can have a big wedding. Hello again. I'm afraid we have some bad news. What is it now? We've had a look at the elf tree and Gloria feels it's a bit tiny. I'm sorry we didn't design our elf tree for gnomes to live in. Nice of you to apologise, but it's still too small. And your castle isn't really to our taste. It's too old-fashioned. Old-fashioned? And drafty. So I'm afraid 
We'll have to find somewhere else. Oh, well. Goodbye. It's a shame we won't see you ever again. Oh, don't worry. We'll be back for our holidays. See you next spring. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. The Elf Band. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. What's that, darling? We've been invited to visit King and Queen Marigold this evening. Oh, dear. King and Queen Marigold are boring and snooty. They always make me feel like a country bumpkin. So why are we visiting them? Because they invited us. And I didn't know how to say no. I'm good at that sort of thing. Leave it with me. Hello. Queen Marigold, King Thistle here. I'm terribly sorry. But Queen Thistle and I can't come tonight. Oh, no. We were so looking forward to seeing you. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. But tonight we're going to, um, uh, a music concert. What kind of music? Uh, um, elf music. Elf music? Oh, I don't believe I've heard of elf music. Oh, uh, yes. It's rather good, actually. Oh. King Marigold and I love good music. Ah, uh, I know. We'll come to you. Oh. See you tonight. Toodle pip. Oh. <coughs> Everything all right, darling? There's good news and bad news. What's the good news? We're not visiting King and Queen Marigold. <laughs> So, what's the bad news? They're coming to see us instead. Oh, no! And they're expecting a concert of elf music. What? And I've, um, told them that elf music sounds good. Oh, but the elf band sound terrible. They're the only elf music we've got. They're an embarrassment. They don't sound that bad. The last time they played, you said it was disgusting. Well, maybe they've got better. Nanny! Summon the elf band. Yes, Your Majesty. The elf band at your service, Your Majesty. Wise old elf, we have some very important guests coming to visit. King and Queen Marigold. They are very boring and snooty. And they want to hear some elf music. Have you been practising? No, Your Majesty. You told us to never, ever play music again. I see. Well, you can play for us now. Oh, it would be an honour, Your Majesty. One, two, three, four. Oompa! Um Interesting. That was awful. I thought it was good. You might like it, Holly, but I'm sure King and Queen Marigold will not. If I might make a suggestion, Your Majesty. What is it, Nanny Plum? Princess Holly could play her recorder for the guests. Yes, Nanny has been teaching me. And Holly has been practising. <laughs> what a charming little tune. King and Queen Marigold would like that. There is one problem. You've promised elf music, and Holly is not an elf. I could magic some elf ears for Holly. Ooh. <laughs> no, thank you, Nanny. I know. Nanny can teach the elf band how to play Holly's tune. Hooray! That's that sorted. See you later. <laughs> Everybody on? Yes! Right ho, off we go. Neat, neat. 
Your instruments don't just sound funny, they look funny too. They've got funny names as well. This is called a thrump warbler. <laughs> That's the spal throttle. <laughs> and this is the blotto horn. <laughs> Delightful. They all sound silly. <laughs> ah, that's because you don't have sensitive elf hearing. Oompa, 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 oompa. Right, enough of that. Princess Holly, could you remind us what your tune sounded like, please? I don't suppose you lot can read music. Well, I haven't seen this particular piece before. You played that perfectly. Perfect for you, maybe, but it's not elf music. Elf music has oompa oompa, like this. Oompa 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 Remember, you are playing for King and Queen Marigold, and they are very snooty. We like umpa music, but King and Queen Marigold don't. Quite. So play Holly's tune, please. <laughs> Uh, Holly, do the elf band sound any better? Yes, Daddy. They've been practising all day. OK. Let's hear them play. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yes, it's charming, but I still don't think King and Queen Marigold will like it. Why, Mummy? King and Queen Marigold don't like country things, and the instruments sound so, uh, rough. I can fix that. How? I'll just use magic to make the instruments sound more normal. Play me a tune, Mr Elf. <laughs> Fantastic! That sounds exactly the sort of music King and Queen Marigold would like. Problem solved. King and Queen Marigold. How delightful to see your little kingdom again, Queen Thistle. It's always such a pleasure to experience your simple country life here. We can't wait to hear some genuine elf music. <laughs> oh, yes. You must hear it. Oh, King Thistle, you didn't tell me you were a conductor. I take a special interest in the sound of this band. <laughs> I must say, this is not at all what I expected elf music to sound like. They have been practising very hard. These elves play well, but the tune is a little old-fashioned. And their instruments sound very ordinary. I assumed elf music would be more folksy. What's that? <laughs> oh, I say! <laughs> A fantastic performance! Very exciting! A triumph, King Thistle! Have you ever considered teaching music? Ah, well, uh. Let's dance! <laughs> Today's 
today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. Pirate's no. treasure. No, no. I'm the best pirate. You're not. I'm the best pirate. I am so. Listen. I'm the best pirate. Ask any pirate. Who's the best pirate? It's me. Hi, Redbeard. Hello, Ben and Holly. And hello, me rambling rose. Meet an old shipmate of mine, Captain Squid. At your service. We were just talking about who's the best pirate. What makes the best pirate? It's the pirate who's cleverest at hiding their treasure. My treasure's hidden the cleverest. This is me treasure map, but only I can read and understand it. <laughs> A child could read it. Is it buried next to the elf tree? Uh, yes. My treasure map is better than that. Ooh, that does look difficult. The treasure's deep underwater, yet in plain sight. Guarded by a mermaid and a golden sea monster with scales shining bright. Ooh. Well, best be off. I've got some pirate stuff to get on with. Ha <laughs> ha! Good to see you, Captain Squid. And you too, Captain Redbeard. Oh, look. Captain Squid forgot his map. Run after him and give it back. No, it's too late. He's gone. We can still catch him. Captain Squid, wait. Give the map to me. I'll fly after him. Let's not be too hasty. Tell you what, I'll keep his map safe until he gets back. Are you going to hunt for Captain Squid's treasure? Oh, no. That would be against pirate's honour. What's pirate's honour? A pirate must never go looking for another pirate's treasure. Anyway, the map's too complicated for Redbeard. What? I could follow this map in my sleep. I'll prove it. But what about Pirate's Honour? Yes, the thing is, pirates don't really have much honour. They're pirates after all. And anyway, I only uh, want to check that Captain Squid's treasure is hidden safely and that. Can we come too? Well, I can always use more crew. Yay! Cast off and away we go! <laughs> Ben, Polly, into the crow's nest and keep a sharp lookout. We're going on a treasure hunt. Yo ho ho! Aha! Are we having fun? Aye aye, Captain! Good! Having fun is what being an elf pirate is all about. And we're elf pirates! <laughs> The map says we pass a tree with a huge wheel. That's silly. Trees don't have wheels. Redbeard, is that it? Yes, Holly, it must be. That's the old tyre that the big children swing on. Ooh, big children? That sounds a bit dangerous. I'm not afraid of danger. Pirates laugh in the face of danger. Ha, ha, ha! Ha, ha, ha. Land ahoy! That's the end of the water. The next bit's on land. You mean we have to get out and walk? Fear not, me pretty nightingale. Your ship has wheels. It can go on the land. Well, most treasure you'll find is on the land. There's not that much in the sea but water. Look, we're in the big children's playground. Now we look out for the giant's palace. There it be! But that's Lucy's school. Who's Lucy? Lucy's our friend. She's a big girl. Are you sure the treasure would be at a children's school? This here map says the treasure's inside. How can we get in? The door shut and the handle's miles up. And you elves won't want to use magic. That's right. Us elves don't normally like magic, but when there's treasure involved... Rightio! Abracadabra! Ooh. Ooh! I thought you were just going to make the door open, but a flying boat is much better. It's quiet. No sign of any big people. But all the big children will be here soon. Let's get a move on. The treasure is found by the sign of the acorn. Acorn class. That's Lucy's class. 
This is ridiculous. How can pirate treasure be in a children's classroom? What does the map say now? Map? I don't need no map. When treasure's this close, I can smell it. We pirates have a nose for treasure. Come on! Now, we're all going to walk the plank. Starting with me. Whee! How can the treasure be here? It's supposed to be deep underwater, for one thing. There be the water! But that's a fish tank! Remember what Captain Squid said? The treasure is guarded by a mermaid. That's a little statue! And a golden sea monster! That's just a goldfish! And there be Captain Squid's treasure, hidden in plain sight. It's a plastic toy. All fish tanks have that sort of thing. Huh. It's not real treasure. There is only one way to find out. We'll have to dive for it. Who's going diving? Good luck, me plucky little pumpkin. Oof. <laughs> What am I doing? Deep sea diving in a goldfish bowl. Look for the treasure chest. Oh, it's just a plastic toy. I don't even think it opens. Ooh. It's real treasure. Ha <laughs> ha! Captain Squid said I'd never find his treasure. I'd like to see his face now. Redbeard, fancy meeting you here. Oh. Hello, Captain Squid. When I set sail, I found my treasure map was missing. Was it really? So I came back. I was worried some rascal might try and steal my treasure. Yes, yes, that would be very bad if someone tried to steal your treasure. I've got the treasure, Mr Redbeard. Why, you double-crossing old sea dog. Uh, I can explain. Treachery with a smile on its face. It's all right, Captain Squid. I found your map on the ground. Redbeard was worried about your treasure, so we came to make sure it was safe. Yes, uh, that's right. Just check it over, like. Oh, well, that's, that's different. But you must admit it was a good hiding place, wasn't it? Aye, very good. A children's fish tank. Best hiding place ever. Oh, but now you all know where it is. I better hide it again. If you could all close your eyes. Thank you. OK, you can look now. Where have you hidden the treasure? Somewhere in the world. Well, it can't be that far away. You were only gone for a second. No one will ever, ever find it. It's guarded by a ferocious beast. Ooh. <laughs> School starting. <laughs> Acorn class, settle down. Lucy, could you please feed Fluffy the hamster? Yes, Miss Cookie. <coughs> oh, look what I found. It's the toy pirate chest from the fish tank. How on earth did it get in Fluffy's cage? Maybe a pirate put it there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just put it back, shall we? Guarded by a ferocious beast indeed. Fluffy the hamster! <coughs> There. Back where it belongs. Never mind, Captain Squid. I think that's the best hiding place for it anyway. But you all know where it is now. We won't tell anyone. You swear? Yes, on pirates' honour. But, Redbeard, you said pirates don't really have any honour and... Yes, yes. Thank you, Holly. We'll talk about this more later. But for now, put your hands on your hearts and say pirates' honour. Pirates' honour! All aboard! Let's be off before we're spotted. A flying ship. Yes, all the best pirates have one these days. Now, let's start the class. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Cookie, look! A flying pirate ship! It's, it's behind, behind you! Ha ha, yes, children. Now settle down, please. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. What are you doing here? Tell you later. Set sail for home! Little Kingdom, here we come! Ha -ha! A 
think we got away with that. Aye, it were a great adventure. And that's what being elf pirates is all about. Having adventures. Today's adventure starts at the little castle. The Ant Hill. Ah! Oh, what a lovely day for a royal fairy picnic. Nanny Plum, get the magic picnic basket ready. Uh, I can't, Your Majesty. Why not? The magic picnic basket has disappeared. You mean you lost it? Things don't just disappear. Whoa! Where's my chair gone? Nanny, I can't find my wand. There. One piano to deliver to the king. Ben, are you ready? Coming, Dad. Come on, Ben. We've got this piano to deliver to the little castle. I don't want to be late. That's right, Ben. Elves are never late. And, and we're, we're elves. elves. Oh, where's my horn? Ben, you must look after your things. A good elf never loses their things. Oh, where's my piano gone? What's happening? Oi! That's our TV! Why are the ants taking all our stuff? I don't know! Ants! Outrageous! Nanny Plum, do something! OK, let's follow them. Where are the ants taking our things? Probably to the Queen Ant. Queen Ant? Is she pretty like Mummy? Uh... Does she have lovely dresses and a sparkly crown? No. The Queen Ant is a different sort of queen. Oh. There's my horn! <laughs> There's my wand! The ants are taking all our things. Yes, and ours too. Where are they taking it? Down to the queen ant. Nanny, I command you to have a word with this queen ant. What word would that be, Your Majesty? Uh, tell her to stop taking our stuff. I would, Your Majesty, but I can't speak ant. It's one of the more difficult insect languages, along with centipede. What we need is someone who can speak ant. Gaston! Ah, oh, good. Ladybirds can speak ant. <laughs> so Gaston can be your ant translator. Down you go, Nanny. Can Ben and I go too? Yes, but stay close to Nanny Plum so she can keep you safe. Hooray! I'll go too, to keep Nanny Plum safe. And I'll go, too, to keep Mr Elf safe. Ah, these tunnels could go very deep, you know. How deep? Do they go to the centre of the earth? I hope not. My feet are tired enough already. Ooh! This way! It would be very easy to get lost in these tunnels. It's a maze. I hope we remember how to get out. Don't worry. I know how to get through mazes. You take every first turning down and every third turning up. And that gets you through any maze. Oh, it's a dead end. Or is it every second turn to the left? Oh, are we lost, Mr Elf? Um... What's that sound? <laughs> ah! Ants! <laughs> That's lucky. They can show us where the Queen Ant is. Gaston, say, take us to your leader. <laughs> what did they say? <laughs> Gaston says the ants will give us a lift. Cool! 
Where the queen ant lives. Ooh. Oh, is that the queen? Uh, yes. She's um big, isn't she? Hmm. Gaston, can you translate for us, please? <coughs> Greetings, your aunt nurse. I am Nanny Plum. And I'm Holly. I'm a pretty fairy princess. I'm Mr. Elf. I'm Mrs. Elf. And I'm Ben Elf. <laughs> We're elves. <laughs> and you've got my horn. And there's my wand. There's the king's piano. And our TV. And my magic picnic basket. Gaston, ask if we can have our stuff back. <laughs> I think that means no. Why won't you let us have our stuff back, Nanny? Ugh, goodness knows. What do you want all this stuff for? <laughs> <laughs> she says it's for eating, even though it tastes horrible. Why is she eating it if it tastes horrible? This isn't food, you know. <laughs> Queen Ant says they used to collect food left over from big people's picnics. <laughs> but the big people haven't had a picnic for ages. <laughs> so the ants have to eat any old rubbish they can find. That's not rubbish. It's a fine musical instrument. I'm delivering it to the Ooh. king. It's not good to eat musical instruments. Yes, Ben. She's obviously very stupid. <laughs> Gaston, don't translate that. Uh, when I said you are very stupid, I meant you are very clever. <laughs> uh, she doesn't seem very pleased. If you want food, I can make some with my magic picnic basket. What would you like to eat? <laughs> she likes sweet things. What kind of sweet things? <laughs> jelly? Oh, I can do jelly. Careful, Nanny Plum. We don't want a jelly flood. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly, but not a lot. Do you want more? <laughs> no problem. Careful, Nanny Plum. Oh, Mr Elf, stop fussing. Jelly, jelly, a little bit more. <laughs> Nanny, they all want jelly. Goodness me, we'll be here all day. I just have to make a lot more. No! Plum. Plum. More, more, more! Oh, jelly plum. The jelly is showing us the way out. Whoa. 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 Jelly blood! Oh. I can hear something. What's that? Jelly blood! What are they shouting? Jerry Fudd? What's Jerry Fudd? Jerry Flood! <gasps> Jerry Flood! <laughs> I've got my horn back. I've got my wand back. And the ants have got all the jelly they can eat. <laughs> The piano's taken a bit of a bashing. Oh, oh, I'm glad that's not my piano. Actually, Your Majesty, it is your piano. I was just delivering it to you. Oh. It's 
okay, Daddy. It sounds lovely. As long as you only play tunes with high notes. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. Gaston goes to the vet. Ben! <sighs> Morning, Dad. Haven't you even started packing yet? We're going on holiday today, remember? We're not leaving for ages, Mr Elf. Please try and relax. I'll try, Mrs Elf, but you know I find holidays difficult. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. <laughs> I'm taking Gaston to the vet. Do you want to come along? Yes. No, no, no. You're not going anywhere, Ben. You've got to stay home and pack your holiday bag. Oh, please let me go, Dad. It's ages before we have to set off on holiday. And we'll be really quick. Gaston's just going to the vet's for a checkup. OK, to the vet's and straight back. No dawdling. Yes, Dad. See you later. Why is Gaston on a lead? He didn't really want to go to the vet. He's never been before. <coughs> Here we are, the vets. <coughs> Don't worry, Gaston. The vet is really nice. <coughs> Hi, Strawberry. We've come to see the vet. <laughs> That's my mum. She's the vet. Come in. <coughs> Mum, Ben and Holly have brought Gaston for his checkup. Uh, Hello, Gaston. There is nothing to worry about. Uh, Pop Gaston up on my table, please. What a good ladybird. Now, let's have a look in your mouth. Hmm, uh, nice healthy teeth. Uh, wow, you're really good with animals. Well, I am a vet. She's my mum. Let's check your eyes. <laughs> His eyes look really big. Nearly done now. We'll just take your temperature. <coughs> Temperature's fine. All is good, good, good. Gaston, you're a fit and healthy ladybird. <coughs> Here's a sticker for a very brave boy. <coughs> Bye, Gaston. I shouldn't need to see you again for quite a while. Well done. Brave boy! <laughs> What's taking Ben so long? Mr Elf, we don't need to leave for ages. Relax! <laughs> We're back! And not a moment too soon. We've got really good news. Gaston is fit and healthy. And the vet gave him a sticker for being a very brave boy. Lovely. Now, Ben, start packing. We're going on holiday, remember? Uh, Dad, I just had a very good idea. Yes? Gaston can come with us on holiday. Oh, yes! That's a super idea. No, this is a family holiday. Gaston is family. Um, where we're going, I don't think they allow pets. Yes, they do. Well, Gaston's not coming, and that's final. Aww. Now, for the one millionth time, Ben, please start packing your holiday bag. Yes, Dad. Come on, Ben. I'll help you pack. Fairies are good at packing holiday bags, and I'm a fairy. I'll help too. <laughs> <laughs> right, what am I going to pack? Hmm, probably simplest, just to pack everything. How about this ball? You want to play, don't you, Gaston? Catch! Well done! Gaston's great at catching. <laughs> Here, boy, catch! <laughs> Gaston, are you all right? He's had his feeler. We'll have to take him back to the vet. <laughs> ben, have you packed your holiday bag? Yes, Dad. Good. So now there's nothing to stop us setting off. We can leave as soon as we get back from the vets. Back from the vets? Uh, but, but, but... Uh... Look after that leg. 
and that leg, and that leg, and that leg, and that leg, and... Mum, Gaston's hurt himself! Oh dear, you better bring him straight in. I didn't expect to see you back so soon, Gaston. It's a bit sore, isn't it? I'll bandage it for you. And I'll sprinkle on a little fairy dust, just to make it heal quickly. There. Gaston scratching it. No, Gaston, you mustn't scratch it or it won't get better. I'll just pop on this plastic collar. Now he can't scratch it. Sorry, Gaston. Here's another sticker for being so brave. Be careful now. I don't want to see you back here again. Mrs Elf, have you got the holiday tickets? Yes, here they are. Good. Throw them down to me. Oh, I'm not sure that's such a good idea, Mr Elf. You might not catch them. <laughs> I'll catch them. OK, if you're sure. You see, elves are great at catching and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> Why has Gaston got that big collar on? Don't laugh, Dad. You'll upset Gaston. Sorry, Gaston. Here are the car keys. Shall I bring them down? <laughs> Just throw them to me, Mrs Elf. If you're sure. <laughs> Gaston caught the keys. Gaston's great at catching, even with that collar on. Yes. Uh, well done, Gaston. Give me the car keys back now. <laughs> oh, he's swallowed the keys. The keys are in Gaston's tummy. <gasps> Stop that, Mr Elf. But he's swallowed the car keys. We have to get them back. Holly, have you got your wand with you? Yes, Mr Elf. Good. Use magic to turn Gaston inside out. <gasps> what? I'm not sure that's a very good idea. We'll have to take Gaston back to the vet. She can get the keys out. Come on, then. Quick! Hello, Gaston. I didn't expect to see you again so soon. <laughs> What's the matter? He swallowed my car keys. Now, Gaston, let's have a look at you. Hmm... I see. Good, good. I have some very good news. Yes? Gaston's feeler is better. Eh? I can take Gaston's collar off. <laughs> Hooray! And here's a sticker for being a brave boy again. <laughs> uh, that's all really lovely and great and everything, but how do I get my car keys back? Ah, oh, that. OK, I'll see if I can find them. Let's take a look in the front end. Hmm, nothing here. Now the back end. Nothing here either. Now for the middle. I'll use the X-ray. Hold still. There they are. The keys. So how do we get them out? We let nature take its course. Let nature take its course? What does that mean? I think she means wait for him to poo it out. That's right. We all just have to follow him around for a bit. <laughs> Aha! Looks like Gaston might be about to, um, go. How disgusting. But at least we'll be getting the keys back. Oh, he only did a wee. Ah, oh, the little darling. We just have to wait for him to go in his own time. In his own time? But we don't have any more time. We're going to be late for the holiday. Did you get the keys? Um, we have to wait for nature to take its course. What does that mean? It means we have to wait for Gaston to... <coughs> <coughs> Gaston's coughing. What's wrong with him now? <coughs> the keys! Mr Elf, you're a very lucky man. Yes. Well, Gaston, you certainly deserve another Brave Boy sticker. <coughs> <laughs> Soon, Gaston will have more stickers than spots. Gaston's been through a lot. He could do with somewhere warm and nice for a good rest. He can come on holiday with us. That would be perfect. I'm sorry, but I did say Gaston couldn't come. But that was before he'd been sick. Uh, he probably needs a pet's passport. 
I can give him one of those. It's settled then. Gaston can come on holiday with us. <laughs> Yay! Yay. Have a lovely holiday, Ben. Keep Gaston warm. Have you got food for him and a cushion? Yes. Bye, Gaston. And remember, I don't want to see you again for a long, long time. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Redbeard the Elf Pirate. Hello, Holly. Hello, Nanny Plum. Hi, Barnaby. Hi, Ben. Something very exciting is happening. What's that? My uncle Redbeard is returning from the sea today. He's an elf pirate. Wow, a pirate. We're going to meet him at the river. Do you want to come along, Holly? Nanny Plum, can we go and meet the elf pirate? Why not? Hi, Dad. Oh, hello, Barnaby. Is Uncle Redbeard here? That's him now. Yo ho ho! Wow! Anchors away! Shiver me timbers, if it ain't me nephew Barnaby. <laughs> These are my friends, Ben and Holly. Hello, Hello Mr. Mr. Redbeard. Ha-ha! <laughs> A pleasure, me hearties. And I'm Nanny Plum. A plum is a sweet fruit indeed. The honour is all mine, Missy. Oh! <laughs> For I am Redbeard, the elf pirate. <laughs> Hello, Fred. Hello, Nigel. Uncle, what was it like being a pirate on the sea? It were a strange life for an elf. Long days staring at the sea, looking for boats. No one to keep me company except Polly. Polly? Yes, me faithful parrot. Bah! This is Polly. Ooh. Peace of the night. She alone was my companion as we sailed through the endless waters. Peace of the night! The conversation must have been riveting. Peace of the night! Uh, were you an evil, nasty, bad pirate? Well, no. The thing is, it's quite hard to be a pirate when you're as small as an elf. All the other boats are so big. So you didn't do any piratey things at all? Of course I did! What would any self-respecting pirate be without treasure? Ooh! <laughs> and here's me treasure map. Wow. wow! Now then, somewhere on this map is the hidden treasure. It's a map of the Little Kingdom. Aye, but that's just the start, Miss Shipmates. There'll be a big search with lots of clues. There's no need for a big search and a lot of old fuss. I can magic you some treasure right here. Abracadabra. No, that's cheating. Yes, that's true, Nanny Plum. It's not as exciting. All right. Just trying to save a bit of time. Hmm. There's an X in the meadow. Is that where the treasure is? There's only one way to find out. To the meadow! Wait! We may need a spade. Pirate treasure is often buried in the ground. Ooh! <laughs> it's Fleur and Strawberry. Hello, everyone. Hello, me hearties. I'm Redbeard the Elf Pirate. And this is me friend Polly. Peace of the night! Ooh! We're looking for hidden treasure. Wow! Aha! There's a riddle on the back of the map. What does it say? Roses are large, the sky is big. Mix them together and you'll know where to dig. Oh! Hmm, that's confusing. Roses are large. And the sky is big. But how do you mix them together? It can't be done. It's silly. That's why it's a riddle, me lovely. It's a puzzle you have to solve. The roses are red 
and the sky is blue. Mix them together and you get purple. It must be buried under the purple flower. Aha! Very good! Very clever! Come on, Ben. Let's dig for the treasure. Yes, elves are very good at digging. And we're elves. <laughs> dig ho, dig, dig ho. What's that? It's another map. That's right. You can't just find the treasure with one clue. Why not? That wouldn't be fun, me little mermaid. Oof. The X is marked on Gaston's cave. Let's go there. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hello, Gaston. Well, we think there might be some pirate treasure in your cave. <laughs> ah, I used to live here myself many moons ago. Probably before you were even born, Gaston. <laughs> I like what you've done with the place, Gaston. <laughs> Mr. Redbeard, what does the riddle say? Aye, the riddle. I'm easily spotted, and where I lay, you'll find the clue to show you the way. Easily spotted? What's that? <laughs> Gaston has spots on his back. And Gaston's bed is where he lays. <laughs> it's another map. Ooh. The X shows the little castle. Impossible! I've dusted every nook and cranny of the little castle. I would have found it. Maybe it's well hidden, me sweetheart. Mm. To the little castle! Hello, everybody. Peace of the night! Oh, goodness me! Daddy! We're searching for pirate treasure. My uncle is Redbeard the Elf Pirate. Your Majesties. A pirate, eh? Not a nasty pirate, Your Majesty. A good pirate. For I am Redbeard the Elf Pirate. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, that's all right then. So, where's this treasure? Hmm. Up above the castle, I point to the sky, and hidden underneath me is where the clue lies. Well, that's just nonsense. I know. The roof is above the castle. And it points to the sky. Very clever, Your Majesties. But that's ridiculous. I've dusted on top of the roof a hundred times. Maybe it'd be under the roof. I've an idea. Take a look under the roof, Nanny Plum. Oh, are you sure, Your Majesty? I command it! As you wish. Zip, zap, zap! Roof lifts up! Oh, I meant take a look through the attic door. Oh. <laughs> Another map! The X is at the river. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for me. Oh, we're back where we started. Where is the treasure? Uncle, what does the riddle say? <clears throat> Up and down and side to side, it's inside this thing I really hide. The ship goes up and down. And it goes side to side. Yes! The, the ship. ship! So that's where the treasure is. That's right. You worked it out. Here it is, me hearties. Oh! Thanks for your help in finding me treasure. But we're back where we started. And the treasure was here all the time. But didn't we have fun? Aye, Captain Redbeard. I certainly enjoyed it. I suppose it was fun, in a way. Fun is what it's all about when you're an elf pirate. And I'm an elf pirate! <laughs> <laughs> and now, I must return to the distant waters. Goodbye, Uncle Redbeard. Goodbye, Barnaby. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs> 
Hoist the mainsail, Polly. Way anchor. Scrub the decks. What? He's <laughs> right. Let's get the ship underway. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be a pirate. Aha! Me too. And me. And me. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be seeing me again. Don't forget the name. Redbeard, the elf pirate. Peace <laughs> <Peace> tonight. <laughs>